that's really disappointing. That is definitely a waste of a level up reward card. But at the same time, it is deserving because Scud is a poopy head and I do not like this character. Sadly, Konami was like, you know what? Let's give a tiny bit of value to Scud. And apparently his level 35 reward card is a mega monarch. What's up everybody? Wattable7 here and welcome back to a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. As you guys can see on the screen right now, the character level up cap has increased for all the dark side dimension characters in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. The level cap went from 30 to 35 and due to this there's a lot of really cool rewards that we can get now that the level cap has increased for all the dark side dimensions characters. I wanted to make this video for you guys because there's a lot of stuff that I personally want to discuss about for these new level up reward cards. There's a lot of weird memes, there's a lot of cool cards to talk about and on top of that we're getting a bunch of free gems so i thought it'd been a good idea to make a video talking about all the brand new level up rewards for all the dark side dimensions characters in Yu-Gi-Oh! duel links if you guys are excited for today's duel links discussion video and you want to see more as per usual you guys know what to do hit that like button on the video down below to show your support and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! duel links content if you guys are new to the channel of course you can wait to like and subscribe until you watch the entire youtube video but i do recommend subscribing to the youtube channel if you're a brand new viewer just because of the fact that I'm also going to be talking about some of Blair Flanagan's rewards. Currently, there's a Blair event happening in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links at the time that I'm recording and hopefully uploading this video. She's not unlockable yet, but you actually can check out all of her level up reward ca cards through a little secret in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. So if you guys want to check out that video, hopefully by the time that this video is up, Hopefully the video will be up, but if it isn't up, be sure to hit that sub button right there. So there you guys go. Sellout aside, let's go talk about today's level up reward cards for all the Dark Side Dimensions characters. We're going to start from Seto Kaiba, go all the way down the Scud, and let's get into it. Now, when it comes to the level up increase for all the Dark Side Dimensions characters, their level 31, 32, and 34 rewards are all going to be the same. As you can see from Seto Kaiba, at level 31, he gets 100,000 gold. At level 32, you gain 200 gems if you level him up to that. And then at level 34, you get 250 gems. So this is the same thing throughout all the DSOD characters. This level up increase is going to be the exact same rewards for 31, 32, and 34. And thanks to this, for everybody that already had all of the DSOD characters to level 30 and are looking to level them up to level 35 uh, you guys now have an opportunity to accumulate 2250 gems thanks to every single dsd character giving us 200 gems and 250 gems at these two level ups which is really cool and if you just started new in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and you haven't unlocked any single Dark Side Dimensions characters the total of all the gems that you get if you leveled up all these characters from 0 to level 35 you get 7,700 gems which is pretty cool so this level up increase increases it by 2,250 gems that we can all snag up and yeah, like I said, in total, we get that spicy 7,700 gems, which is really cool. Now that we have that out of the way, let's go take a look at all the level up reward cards for Seto Kaiba, Mokuba, Joey Wheeler, Sarah, and Scud. Now, Dark Side Dimension Seto Kaiba is pretty straightforward. He is giving us Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon at level 33 and 35. It would have been cool if we had two different Blue Eyes cards at level 33 and 35, but I will still take uh, Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Before uh, Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon was a level up reward card from Seto Kaiba, you originally had to use this skill right here, Ultimate Dragons. At the beginning of the duel, add Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon and Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon to your extra deck. So before, that's how we were able to access these cards, but now we can just level them up to level 33 and 35 and get a couple copies of this card into the extra deck. Also, this means is that now you can combine the skill Scorns of Ultimate Defeat, which allows you to get Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon, and you get to add to your extra deck Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, which is super, super cool. Also, now that we have access to Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon through um, not a skill anymore, you can try this out with other characters and see if there's any skills in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links that may or may not help out this card. Um, but probably stick with Seto Kaiba because most of his skills do combo well with Blue Eyes's. I guess if you didn't know already, this card is kind of neat. Um, this is just an upgraded version of Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. It's a 12 Light Star Dragon Fusion Effect monster. It takes three Blue Eyes White Dragons in order to Fusion Summon into it. At the end of the damage step, if this was the only face of card you control and this Fusion Summon card attacked, you can send a Blue Eyes Fusion monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. So your extra copies of Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon you could send to the extra deck to the graveyard or Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Um, and then you can make this card attack again on the row, which is really cool. You can use the effect of this card up to twice per turn, and also during either player's turn, when a card or effect is activated that targets a blue eyes monster control, including this one, you can banish this card from the graveyard and negate the activation if you do destroy that card. So 
yeah, if you have any of your Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragons in the graveyard, you can use that effect to protect your other Neo Blue Eye Ultimate Dragon that's based up on the field, or of course your other Blue Eyes monsters. So this card is definitely better than Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, but isn't anything that's like, wow, this is crazy. And honestly, for what it's worth, I think this is a solid up, level, uh, solid level up reward. It would have been kind of lame to get a card like this through a box because at the end of the day, it isn't really that good. So I respect it. This is a cool level up reward card and I'm looking forward to making a video for you guys testing Neo, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, and Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon in one deck. It's going to be a lot of fun. So now that the level cap increased for all the DSV characters, Mokubo, when you level him up to level 35, you can get two extra copies of this card called Thunder Dragon's 100 Thunders. We already had access to this card at level 30, but now we can snag three copies of this card, which is pretty cool. Personally, I have not played Thunder Dragons, but I do. I have read this trap card, and it is pretty spicy. You target one Thunder type monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Then you can special summon as many monsters with that same name as possible from your graveyard. The monsters special summoned by this effect are banished when they leave the field. Also, while they're face up on the field, you cannot special summon monsters except Thunder type monsters. You only can activate Thunder Dragons 100 Thunders per turn. The fact that we now have access to three copies of this card means that you can consistently go into it. And if you're playing like that grass is green or Thunder dragons teching in this card might not be a bad option because then you can just spam out a bunch of other thunder type monsters also since this is a generic uh card and it doesn't only support thunder dragons if there's a different thunder archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links that could potentially use the uh thunder dragons 100 thunders you might be able to pull off some cheeky uh combos with this card so played in some different decks and whatnot maybe for the memes i should try it out with the watts since you know my channel name is watts below seven and there's an archetype in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links called watts maybe i'll have to go give that a shot but probably not i'm gonna probably stick to two other decks when it comes to these level up rewards but for anybody that does play thunder dragons or any thunder archetypes in Yu-Gi-Oh! duel links are you guys happy that mokuba's level up reward cards give us some extra copies of thunder dragon hunter thunders or do you think they should have given us some different thunder dragon support tell me in the comment section down below but i think this is pretty good um level up reward card because on paper the card seems pretty cool to be honest joey wheeler's level up reward cards are kind of lame his level 33 reward is invader of the throne which we already have had access to when you leveled him up to level 16 and this card in general is pretty mediocre it's a four star earth warrior flip effect monster flip select one monster on your opponent's side of the field and switch control of it with this card this effect cannot be activated during the battle phase Eh, I, I, I just don't really like it that much. I think it's just kind of a lame card. There's better cards out there that you can switch uh, or take your opponent's monsters. I feel like that there's better ones than Invader of the Throne. But hey, maybe two copies is good so you can boost the consistency of this little cheesy card. But there you go right there. And then his level 35 reward is cool. I actually do like this card. But at the end of the day, since we're only getting one copy of this card when you level them up to level 35, I don't think this card's going to see that much play. Still, this card is called Vendra, the Empowered Warrior. It's a five-star win warrior effect monster. This card can attack your opponent directly. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target a dragon, warrior, or spellcaster normal monster in your graveyard and add to the hand. So, it's a cool card. Nothing too crazy and nothing like just mind-boggling, I gotta say. I mean, it's cool that it is a monster that can do a direct attack at 2,000 attack points, because in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, uh, the standard amount of life points is 4,000 life points, so that's half of somebody's life points if they were at 4,000, which is really cool. Other than that, though, this card is just kind of mediocre in my opinion. It's cool. I wouldn't, well, I don't know. I don't think I will prioritize making a deck on this card because it just seems too much of a waste of time. But it's it's just a cute card. It's like a cool, cute card. Understandable as a level up reward card. Would have been super lame if we got it in a box or something like that where you had to spend money or gems. But yeah, that's all I can really say about it. It's a cool card, but nothing crazy. So Sarah's level up reward cards, I'm kind of like shruggish about them too. Kind of like with DSOD Joey. For example, at level 33, you can get another copy of Guardian of Order. Guardian of Order is just kind of whatever. It's an 8-star light warrior effect monster. If you control two or more light monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can control one Guardian of Order. I guess it's cool that we have access to two copies of this card now if we leveled up Sarah to max, but just at the same time, it's kind of like, do I really want to spend the time and effort to get Guardian of the Order? Because it's just a waste of... I think it's just a waste of time because you need to have two light monsters in the field before you can special summon those cards, so... I don't know, maybe try it at Light Sworn since Light Sworns right now are getting some spicy support, which we'll talk about in a later video. So there you go right there. Now, I don't know if this card is good or not. I read this effect like one time when I was at work on one of my breaks, and I didn't really fully understand this card right here. And I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the name of this card, but maybe this level 35 reward from Sarah is actually really good. And I'm just too stupid of a duelist to know. 
Anyways, though, let's go take a look at this and see if I can think of any interesting combos. Anyways, whatever this card's called, it's a nine. It's a level nine light fairy spirit effect monster. It cannot be normal or special summon. During either player's turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets this face down monster, you can change this card to face up defense position and draw a card. If this card is flipped face up, banish all other cards on the field. Once per turn during the end phase, if this card was flipped face up, this turn returns to the hand. Now I'm kind of remembering why I thought this card was weird because I'll be honest. Honest, before I read the card again, I kind of forgot what its effect was because it was just so weird. So, it is a spirit monster, so that's why it states at the end of its uh, card text that it needs to get returned to the hand after it's summoned. Um, since you can't normal or special summon it, literally the only way that you can summon this card is by setting it. So, there you go right there. Um, it is interesting that during the other player's turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets face down monster, you can change this card face to defense position and draw one card. Still, I feel like, well, at first, if anybody tries to make a deck on this card, I feel like trying to surprise your opponent with a card like this is just not going to work because they're going to be a little suspicious if you uh, attributed two of your monsters and set a card face down. So I feel like you won't be able to trigger this card's meme effect where if it does get targeted by a card effect, you can change it to face up defense position, draw a card, and then banish all the cards on the field. Still, if you do pop it off, it would be really funny. But at the same time, its effect is too very niche. You have to be in like the perfect scenario to even trigger an effect like this. It's it's definitely like an anime effect. Like if it pops off, it's fucking sick. But are you going to win consistently with a meme effect like this? Probably not because you one have to sacrifice two monsters to set this card. And then when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets this face down monster, then you can switch it to face up defense position, draw a card, and then banish all other cards. But like... I don't know. And at the same time, too, even if you do pop off this effect and, you know, attack uh, your opponent directly, this card's going to get returned back into your hand. So you would have to do the combo all over again. I just think that this card is, like, a waste of time. Like, it's cool. It's definitely worthy of a level up reward card, but will it see any play? Probably not. Good luck, Playmaker, if you decide to make a video on this card, because it's just super meme to say the least. Let's be real here, Scud's level 35 reward card is very, very interesting. But first, we're going to talk about his level 33 card. So, Tyrant's Temper is a reprint for Scud. We already were able to get a copy of Tyrant's Temper from level 30, and if I remember correctly, you can actually farm Scud to get the card anyways. So, his level 33 reward is just super mediocre, because let me go to the DSOD characters real quick. And let me go see. Yeah, you can already get a copy of Tyrant's Tantrum from Scud by farming him. So honestly, the fact that one of his level up reward cards is a card that you can already farm for, that's really disappointing. That is definitely a waste of a level up reward card. But at the same time, it is deserving because Scud is a poopy head and I do not like this character. Sadly, Konami was like, you know what? Let's give a tiny bit of value to Scud. And apparently his level 35 reward card is a mega monarch the moment that i opened up my youtube app when i was at work this morning on one of my breaks the first two posts i see was one from it's brad's hd and dual links best decks like bruh scud just got a mega monarch so that is definitely something interesting and i hate that dual links is forcing me to level up this damn character to level 35 because while I've never played Monarchs before on the channel, the fact that they just added a brand new Mega Monarch into Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links is kind of enticing me to give Monarchs a shot and see if I can do anything crazy with them for a video for you guys. Because I've been on a roll with some of these deck videos recently, some of you guys have been enjoying them, and I feel like if I just keep at it, things will be looking good for the future of the channel. And just in general, making decks is just a ton of fun. So due to that, I want to get this Mega Monarch level up Scud to level 35 to get this card. But bro, why did they give us a Mega Monarch? I wouldn't know. Anyways though, this card, I don't know how to pronounce his name, like the Alos, the Mega Monarch, is a 8 star fire pyro effect monster. You can tribute summon this card by tributing one tribute summon monster. If this card is tribute summon, look at your opponent's hand and discard one card from the hand, then it fills a monster card and inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original level times 200. If this card was tribute summoned by tributing a fire monster, add this additional effect, also inflict a thousand damage to your opponent after that, so. This is pretty cool. 
Nothing too crazy, I will say. I don't think that this card is going to see a ton of play. Again, a very solid level up reward card. I think this is a card that entices me to level him up to 35 because I already mentioned that. But at the same time, it's definitely something that um, isn't like super, super crazy where the fact that it's not in a box is actually pretty nice because one, this opens up the opportunity to get better Mega Monarchs in future boxes in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. And then on top of that, you get to just get this card for free and add it to your deck and boost up your Monarch deck, which is really cool. So I like that. Also, let's go take a look at Monarchs real quick because I want to talk about the card that the, um, the Mega Monarch is based off of. So we're going to go type in Monarch right here. Boom, bada bang, there we go. So clearly, this Mega Monarch is actually based off of Firestorm Monarch. This is the original version of him. When it's tribute summon, discard one random card for opponent hand, then it fills a monster card and inflict damage to your opponent equal to its original level times 100. So there you go right there, very cool. Still, I just kind of realized though, I don't have any copies of this card, and I don't know if I want to invest into this box. This box is kind of old. This, uh, this box kind of old, and then no, I never pulled any copies of this boy right here. But I'll still figure out something. I'll still figure out something. Also, we have this Mega Monarch. I didn't know that. Cool. So we actually have a lot of Mega Monarchs in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, and then they just gave us another one. So that's cool. So yeah, I'll have to definitely debate on making like a Mega Monarch deck thanks to this new guy if I get Scud to level 35. It's definitely going to be interesting for me, though, because I don't have a lot of the uh, cards already. I think most of these are free-to-play, though. Not this guy, though, but I think this card's a free-to-play. So I'll definitely have to figure out something. Um, because as you can see, I clearly don't have all the Monarch support, but I still got a good amount of it. So I'll see what I'll have to make with this Mega Monarch when I do get around to getting it. But that is it for all the new level up reward cards and stuff for all the DSOD characters. Hope you guys enjoyed today's discussion video talking about all the brand new level up reward cards for these characters. If you guys enjoyed today's discussion from a boy at Watt 007, you guys know what to do. Be sure to go hit the like button on the video down below if you enjoyed and be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you guys can stay notified whenever I release a brand new video on the YouTube channel. Like I said, I'm going to be releasing a Lightsworn video talking about all the new Lightsworn support that we're going to be getting from Blair. Honestly, Blair's level of reward cards are looking very enticing and very spicy, and I cannot wait to unlock the character for the free gems and for the fact that we're getting some really cool level up reward cards for the character. So stay tuned to the YouTube channel so you guys do not miss out. Also, I'll be uploading a Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links leak video talking about some interesting stuff that we got in the new batch of leaks, so look forward to that video too. Nonetheless though, thank you guys so much for watching today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video, and that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video, and I'll go see you guys in the next one. Peace out everybody. In a cycle, repeat a lie. How many chasing their dreams? A lie. How many of us give up because we taking the failure as if it's defeat? A lie. How many of us is weak? A lie. How many of us are scared? A lie. How many of us don't understand that we got somebody who really cares? A lie.